three game set coming your way. Again, they name these teams after just what color jersey they wear. So we have the white team and we have the black team or black squad and white squad, if you will. And they're just about ready to tip it off and we hope you enjoy our continued coverage streaming here from the home of Team Griffin basketball. And of course, uh, Rod Thompson was talking with Taylor Griffin uh, a little while ago and hopefully we'll be able to grab some of these kids and coaches who are really taking this in as the ball is in the air and we are underway. White team with the basketball. Pass dumped down low as number 32 is Damian Collins. He has really had outstanding games already today. And with the basketball right now for the black squad, number two is Kaysen Wallace. And there's a shot that's up and good. And the black squad is on the scoreboard first as they lead it two to nothing. Here's a driving layup. Finger roll, won't go down, whistle to foul underneath. So at the free throw line is number 25 for the white squad. That is DJ Freeman looking to get his first points and his team's first points here in our contest. Two more games after this one here tonight. Missed the first and now the second free throw about ready to be on the way. Second one is good. One of two from the stripe. Here's a shot from deep outside. Up and good. Driving shot and the layup is good. So here in the early going, it's a 5-3 lead for the white squad. Go dump it inside, shot is up, no good. Battle for the rebound underneath. And coming away with it and stolen away. And back the other way we go and going up for a big left-handed slam. And the basket. And the black team goes on top, now leading it by a score of seven to three. With the basketball here, this is Anthony Pritchard, number five, to Martin in the corner. Number eight, Drew Steffi drives the baseline. The shot for three is up and good. Wallace with the basketball out top. He'll turn, shoot from the top of the key, and he'll knock down the three-pointer. Nice shot there. By Wallace. 10-6 lead here now for. So 10-6 our score. Wallace will walk it across the timeline. Ball goes out of bounds. 10-6 lead here for Black Squad after they've been able to knock down a couple of shots. Collins in the lineup. This is Anthony Pritchard. Goes high post to Collins. Tries to get looked. Now looks to get rid of it. And the shot is partially blocked and back the other way we go. And the ball goes out of bounds with 
18.45 left to go here in this first half. 10-6 our score. Black squad on top of the white squad here in the early going. Be another good game here, Steve. Long shot from the outside, no good. Offensive rebound pulled down. Going strong into the lane, putting it up and good. Big number 55, That's David Oyane. Oyan 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 you got it, Steve. left-handed jump hey, shot there's all the way my up fishing buddy he told me he liked fishing is that right there he is we got a fishing showdown you may have to commentate <laughs> Steve. nice Three pass. On two break martin drives nice. in left hand up and good for two good finish right there that's good basketball All the left-handers we got out here. He's smooth. Left. It's Kevin Overton who knocks down that three. 15-10, our score. Flex squad gonna get it across the timeline. This is Wallace. Penetrates, drives, finger roll, rolls off no good. And out of bounds, and it will belong to See, Wallace. He can has that wiggle, he can get in the lane, finish high. He jump us, really like what he does on this side though. He really straps up defensively. Shot from deep left side, no good. Try to save it back inbounds. And apparently they did save it off, knocked it off of the opposition so the white team will get to inbound long shot from the corner for three and that's good Sifty smooth right there I'm telling you <laughs> Damian Collins with the three ball it's a two-point ball game big block he wanted a goaltending call but none forthcoming Nice left hand. Nice pass. That's a nice play right there. Anthony Pritchard in the screen and roll. Find the big fella, Damian Collins, with the finish. Good left hand. Big D. Okay. I see. Touch the float in, Big D. <laughs> all the games we've called so far today have all been pretty close games. Lead goes from one team to the other, bouncing back and forth. Into the backcourt now, 12 minutes left to play in this first half. Steffi thought he was fouled on the play. Now a 2-1-1 one, one break. Driving it, taking it, missing it. Gets his own rebound, puts it back up, and good for two. Nice play. Shot blocked. Defense. This fella smooth lefty. Substitutions coming in for the white squad. Also, the black squad will send in number one in their lineup. That is LJ Gurley. Collins Skipper in the lineup now. Head coach Jermaine Simpson. Here's a drive to the nice basket. Nice move. He went strong. He went down hard. Still made the shot and drew the foul. And he's moving a lot better. Try to get 
get his team back to within three points here. Free throws up and good. So now 21-18. Black squad on top. Gurley gets in the lane, put up the shot with partially blocked. Collins comes down the miss and brings it to the front court itself. And he'll pull up and shoot the three. Shot is off the mark that time, no good. He's trying to tie it up underneath and a good job to wrestle it free. By Terry McMorris. Pass right there by Fryerson. Knock it down from three. Good block. Lob to the front court, lays it up and good for two. LJ Gurley off the nice pass. And the black squad goes back on top. They lead it by two. Long shot from way outside. That's off the mark. Out of bounds. And it will belong to head coach DJ Lemon's team. Simpson, the coach for the white squad, Lemons for the black squad. Two point ball game, 8.45 left to go here in the first half. Drive to the right side, Gurley got in there and he'll draw the foul. Not afraid to take it to the basket, even though yeah. he's given up a good bit of size. He turned that corner. He had a good high school season for Coach Simpson and Choctaw. Plays with a lot of energy, gets down the hill. Point ball game. Black squad on top. Collins tried to take it inside himself. Good defense by Pierce. Got stripped of the basketball. Gurley, great oh. pass inside. It's Gurley right there. Trip Pierce did a good job on the other end defensively. Wallace at the free throw line. Richardson High School. He has such good balance on both sides. Always got his hands on the ball. Substitution in for Coach Simpson, number 25, DJ Freeman in the lineup, and Collins will take a breather. Slam won't go down. And you got a foul and a whistle underneath. Freeman is quietly impressive. Yes. Turn around on the baseline. Jumper won't go. Gurley looking down the floor. Somebody to get it to. He does, but the shot is left up a little short. He makes those shots. 
Served up. Jumper, 15 footer is short. Offensive rebound and a whistle and a foul first. They're going to get Bay Joby on the foul there. Oh, missed it right there. It was right there for him. Quarter three on the way, that won't go. Wallace surveys the floor, drives. Little floater up and no good. Fight for the rebound inside. And a timeout is called with 4.39 left to go in this first half. And right now the black squad having the better of it as they lead by four, 25-21. Yeah, Coach Simpson wants to talk about it happy with the Florida game right now. You know, you're used to seeing this team, especially in their last game, the movement, the passing, solid screens. Now it's just kind of one bad shot, does you down. Like I tell players all the time, you play like that, that's why you need coaching. My kids need parents. Absolutely. So 434 left to go in the first half of play. And like I said earlier, all these games have been pretty even. Teams, I think maybe the biggest lead that we saw all day in the early session was 10, maybe 11 points at the most. Otherwise, you've got such good players out here, nobody can run away from the other. Baseline drive. Nice Put move. Glass, good strong move. Terry McMorris gets the bucket. Nice looking player right there. Nice move. Nice explosion by Glory Humba. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Two free throws coming up here. And the stripe is Jason Skipper. Skipper is 6'7, he's out of Sepulpa. Got substitutions coming in for Coach Simpson's team. A little too strong on the free throw. No good. Lemon's team brings it across the timeline. Kick to the corner. Nice. It's a good look at a wide open 12 footer, but he can't hit it. Offensive rebound, kick it back out, and that's up and good. There he is right there, and that's what he can really do. At about 6'7, you see he needs to gain some weight. Only going to be a sophomore. I'm telling you, Trent Spears, he, he can turn into a Major prospect, nice move. Anthony Pritchard is really smooth and crafty with that basketball. Gets to his spots. That's what good point guards need to do. Tipped out.
Zola and Coach Simpson didn't particularly care for the call. He looked like meat blocking shot. <laughs> 140 left to play in the first half, six point advantage. Black squad on top. Kind of hesitated as he was putting the ball on the floor, took an extra step, and they called it. It's Gurley with the basketball. LJ Gurley penetrates, throws up the floater, that won't go. White squad back the other way. Driving through, he's stripped of the basketball. Good hands by Glory. Nice runner there, up and good for two. Very good athlete in this court. Oh! Wow. With authority. Quick dunk him right there. <laughs> you know what's happened. He shifted gears and threw it down in there. the scorer's table. I was ready to shoot it. I know you were. It's the way you always were. Yeah, feet set. Gets across the timeline. You're in shooting range, right? right. No, in the gym. <laughs> in the parking lot. In the parking lot. Twenty-six seconds left here in this first half. Six-point lead for the Black Squad. Right corner, drive the baseline, nice. put it up and good Ooh. for two. Back the other way. Martin with the finger roll, good for two. Offense, push it back. Three seconds. Gurley puts it up, almost banked it in, but it falls just off to the side. No good. 36 30, our halftime score here at the Hoops House, the home of Team Griffin. It's great. Still call it high school basketball, but just the, the gathering of so much talent. Let's see what kind of adjustments, if any, the teams make. The halftime is not very long. We'll be right back to play here. Pretty much about anything. So, Mr. Thompson, how's that boy you're doing up there at Kansas? Good. Everybody's trying to get adjusted. So I cried all the tears. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been a long road. I was thinking when we were driving up, I just thought about, you know, and all these young people can yep. relate, parents can relate, all the time and the sacrifice and every single tournament and all. Um, all of it built up to that. Would you change anything knowing what you now know now if you had to do it over? Nah, it wouldn't, it a great wouldn't change ride, it. it. Probably would have tried to enjoy it a little more. You know, you just kind of get going. But, you know, I tell people all the time, and I think it's so important, especially with this 2021 class, because, you know, Bryce was fortunate to work hard and then, you know, be McDonald's All American. And, you know, different things than I was saying, but if he didn't have a summer, it would have been really hard for him. And so you think you have a lot of young people right now who won't have the traditional summer to go and be able to showcase those skills against top level guys. So, you know, you try to tell young people that's why your attitude, how you treat people, you know, high school matters. You know, they're going to go. A lot of emphasis on high school, but it's also going to be a lot of word of mouth. You know, I had a young player the other day that ended up going um, going to a state school here uh, to play football, and his parents were, as a, were amazed because I coached him in basketball, but the football program was calling me asking about 
you know, him. And he would have never thought, I said, you never thought they probably called me. Well, yeah. We do games on TV sure. with football, but, but that's where you try to tell young people and even parents how you carry yourself, the things that you do are going to be so important. It's going to be really important for these next couple of classes because, again, not your traditional, you know, summer. Second half action underway. Oh, nice block inside. How about that? You see his length. He can wait <laughs> till he gets it off and still go get it. Six point advantage for the white squad. Good luck. On the wing, Wallace. Shot is up and good for three. That's a nice look by Corey Gordon. Collins couldn't finish. Back at the other end. Going yes. up and missing the shot. Offensive rebound, put back good and a foul of the play. Go that man again. And he is that man. Wallace will try to get the three point play here. And he does. Having a big game already. 10 point, 12 point lead now. Been really impressed with the Wallace. Good ball fake, goes inside. Got hit on the way up, no call. Driving. Too strong and a whistle and a foul. Score a lot of points if you're a great shooter or a big man. A lot of times just taking the ball to the basket and ending up at the free throw line more than everybody else makes a big difference. Oh, too. makes a huge difference. It adds up. Second one on the way, he goes one for two. 13 point lead, one of the biggest we've seen all day. White squad has not scored yet in this half. There's a long three, that's off. Oyona comes up with the rebound. Taken away, numbers the other way for the black squad. Here's a shot from the wing. That's up no good. Pokes nearly out of bounds, but they retain possession. Good pass. See just his awareness, getting in the lane, dumping it off for the big fella to get it. Nothing to start the second half for the black squad. Good defense, but he was not to be denied. Good D, better shot. No good, but a whistle and a foul, and free throw is coming up. It was 36 30 at halftime, so it's an 11 0 run. Start this second half. The biggest lead, as I commented earlier, we haven't seen too many teams really pile it on. But 17 point if you're advantage. The white the team. Got to get going here.
block. Scary to think he's still got a year of high school left, huh? <laughs> You're exactly right. Plays with a great motor also. FD, big smooth. Got the defender off the nice. speed. Pass! Wow. There's, there's my fishing buddy right there. <laughs> Mr. Freeman. Locked in. Wow. Good defense. Then he does that. but they say Sepulpa dropped to 5A, Del City up to 6A. I don't know how true that is, don't quote me. Clock running, 12 minutes left to go in our contest. Big lead for the Black Squad. It's now 15 at one point. It had gotten up to 19. Hurry and make a run. That's what he can do. Six, seven. Nice move by Frierson. His white team got to pick it up a little bit. Good defense. 
defense. Jumper left side short. Hustles. Couldn't get it back himself and turns it back over to the white ball club. bringing it up the floor. Long shot from the outside up Boy, and good. Been, he's had him a day. He has. Give him glory. in it. into a 19 point advantage. Wide open look from Ryerson. the outside, it's good. Get going, I need a little more of that. Shot from deep, won't go, rebound taken in. Skipper with the basketball, looks for some help. Martin catches and shoots a long distance shot that's off the mark. Nice dump pass. pass inside. It's Trent Pierce again. Nice look by Gurley. So going to the free throw line. roster for the black squad. Who's that? Dale City, Brandon Garrison. Oh, there he is. The fella. Brandon Garrison. Brandon Garrison. Oh, Garrison and Pierce. Picking it up and playing hard.
Alternate possession will stay with the white squad. Drew Steffi to take care of the inbounds. Well, he was. Then they chose Frierson instead. Looking, looking. Five seconds turns it over. 440 remaining. turned it over and the white squad will get the basketball. Trailing by 19, 355 left to go here in our contest. Steffi drives. Too much team defense there. They really had him and the whistle blows. Coach Lemon. Team look like they're gonna come away with another win. What to do with this guy right here? Oh, just go ahead and jump off the right foot. <laughs> Finish it with two hands. They cleared out the lane. Nobody was there defensively, and he buried it with your hair blowing in the wind. Right. Just made all the right plays. I think he's a perfect example of showing you can impact the game. And he's not a volume guy. He, he can get it done. Had it, lost it, came away with it. Wallace with the outlet. Driving shot no good. Rebound taken down by Skipper. He loses the basketball. Nice reverse move. layup up and good. Two minutes left to play. Black squad well in control of this one, leading it by 23. A little base lane, one foot fall away up and good. to play defensively. Defender got a hand on that one. And it'll be white basketball. Substitution. Jason Wallace. up a little gimpy. Ball was batted around and got a foul. And it will be white basketball as we are coming down to the 42nd mark left to go in this contest. Long three, no good.
say six was right? Brandon Garrison. 6 8 2023. 20, Coach Lenny Hatchet. Doing a great job over there at Dell City. This game at one point was tied 21 apiece. And it kind of fell apart from there for the white squad. Nice job inside, getting the putback good for two. Terry McMorris. Getting the basket. The and one opportunity from the free throw line. Couldn't get it to fall. And that will do it for our contest. Final score, 74 to 49. As the Black Squad wins this contest here this afternoon. Coach Lemon getting another. He's no Lemon. Getting it done. Boy, his team. Final score, Black Squad wins it 74-49. We'll have a, another contest that will be coming up here in just a little bit. Let's see exactly what time they're going to set that for. 4.30 would seem a little ambitious. But if you hang with us, we'll let you know and we'll talk about it a little